hi everyone welcome back to my channel i know i haven't filmed in a long while um just because i tried to film like two or three times and it just didn't work out so i was just like okay but i've been on instagram doing some igtv and all that and if you don't follow me on instagram you should i would leave my handle somewhere in the video go follow me on instagram um today i am filming a video um with the james charles palette um i already used the palette on instagram i've been using it um my husband got it for me and it looks like this it is very big compared to the other um morphe palettes so it is it is very big compared to the other morphe palettes um this is the this is the um jacqueline hill one and in comparison you can see like the morphe one i'm sorry the james charles one is very big compared to the other morphe palettes and yeah so i will be filming i will be filming with this today um i don't know what look i'm going for yet but yeah and i'm not i don't know if i'm gonna um talk or anything in this video because when i talk it takes a lot of time to film and get everything done so i'm gonna try and um speed through the video kind of um but yeah all right guys going in with the concealer from maybelline i am going to use that um, on my eyes and this is the best concealer for eyeshadow looks i'm going in with this pink shade and i'm just going to put that in my crease i'm starting with this pink because it's a little bit light because i want a gradient so i'm just going to put that all over my crease and then i'm going to blend that out with that orange shade just to lighten it so i have like a lighter pink to a darker pink Kind of effect so i'm going to lighten that with that orange shade and as you can see i'm just applying more pink and then going in with a darker pink i'm just using that on the lower part of my eyes into the crease just to darken it a little bit more because i'm going to cut my crease and i want it to be you know dark pink to lighter pink so this is me cutting my crease i was using a very flat round ended brush but the brush was a little bit too wide so you see yeah right here i changed it to a flatter um brush because this was just a little bit smaller for me and just made the cutting of the crease much easier um if you want me to do a detailed video a detailed video on how to cut your crease let me know so i am adding the yellow to just the inner part i am going to use this yellow as like a liner but I'm going to add this to just the upper part of the cut crease and at this point it wasn't showing up as I wanted it to show up I don't know why um, I guess I didn't put enough concealer or something like that so yeah so I just went I just kept going back and forth applying some more and applying some more um, and yeah so this is me applying orange the orange shade that i blended into my crease yeah that one i'm going to use that in my inner part of my eyes and i'm just patting that on the concealer the concealer is a very sticky concealer so it takes product real good so that's me adding pink to the um, middle part of the eyes and i'm going to blend that into the orange and I'm just, you know, packing it on. Um, like I said, the concealer is very good at taking on product because it, it gets sticky. And then I'm just using that dark pink at the end. And I'm just going to blend all that together. Um, you know, just to make it seamless. Blend the dark pink to the lighter pink and the lighter pink to the orange. You know drink some water stay hydrated because it's hot um so i'm going to use um mixing medium and that yellow you know i was saying that yellow wasn't wasn't coming out as i wanted it to so i just remember that i could do this so i mixed mixing medium with the yellow and i used it as a liner which worked out perfectly and then i'm just going in with a black liner and i'm not doing a wing i'm just 
I'm just darkening my um, lash line for my lashes Alright guys, I've done my eyes. Um, I didn't talk through my eyes. I would do a voiceover for that because it's just it's just too much when I talk and do my eyes. It's a whole new thing. Um, so onto the face, I am using the new Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It looks like this. It's the dupe to the Tatcha Primer, um, and I am everything Elf fan. Um, so. Um, I buy everything else, <laughs> including their brushes. I am obsessed with them. Um, but I haven't found um, my shade in their foundation yet. So I'm going to try and find that. About the um, the booster drops, um, I have all that too. So when they came out with this, I just thought I'll try it out. And it looks like this. I've used it. Um, it is a dupe to the Tatcha Primer. So... What I'm going to do now is you take it, it's like, it's like this, and then you just, my hands are a little bit dirty, but let's clean that. I'm going to clean my hand, and then I just, you just take it, and put that in your face. So when you apply it, um, it says you should wait 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds to one minute before you apply your foundation. So we're just gonna wait. So I'm just gonna wait um, 30 seconds to one minute. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm using the best drugstore foundation in the entire world. <laughs> I've been using this for like two, almost two years now. And it is the Superstay. Maybelline Superstay foundation. I am in 355. I always switch between 355 and 356. Uh, but today I'm going to use the 355. It is the best foundation, hands down, drugstore. Um, and that's just it. <laughs> that is just it. Maybelline did it for this foundation. So. That's what I'm using today. All right, so that's the foundation, as you guys can see. I just love the foundation. I love it. I really do love it. Um, it doesn't totally cover your dark spots, but it does do a <laughs> almost damn good job. Like, it does a good job in covering your dark spots. Okay, so I am going to go in with, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I, I am actually in deep olive, but deep olive is always sold out, always. So I put deep chest, deep chestnut and latte, tan latte. So this is in between. This is deep olive, but deep olive is in here. So this is darker than deep olive, and this is lighter than deep olive. So we kind of make it work. Um, if I could find deep olive, it would have been nice, but can't find it. So, while that is sitting, I'm just going to use the um, rev Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C15. I'm going to use that to just contour a little bit. I never use a cream contour, I just use a powder contour. And I'm just like, sometimes with the powder contour, it's a like, a 50 50 thing sometimes it comes out nice and sometimes it doesn't so 
but with the cream contour because it's cream you're gonna go over it with powder so it's like you have a better chance at you know winning when it comes to contour so yeah so I blend mine into the hairline and then also blend it to my forehead. And obviously cheeks. Um, one thing I'll say about the concealer is it dries pretty fast <laughs> um, Just like the Milani concealer That one dries pretty fast too and this also dries pretty fast, but It is a damn good concealer It's really good um, And they have a very good color range um, So yeah it is not too bad at all. Yeah. Um, I would have loved to go a little bit lighter, not lighter, yellower. Um, I really do love. I love when my under eye is like pretty yellow, but you know, not every day. Not every day super bright on the eye right so this should do for today have you guys ever blended so much that your arm hurts like nowadays every time i blend it's like it's like i'm walking out jeez my arms hurt Okay. I think I think there's nothing more to blend. I've blended enough. <sighs> My hands are hurting. Um I'm going to use Sasha Buttercup to set under the eyes as usual. Um I do have other setting powders. I have S1. I have Laura Mercier. I just love the color of Sasha. Um, I used to have the Ben 9, but I ran out. Oh, yeah. I love the color. I just love yellow. Yellow, golden setting powders. They do the job. It's like even if your concealer is not that color, if you set with that kind of um powder to give it that color I don't like applying too much powder or concealer or foundation on my forehead because things go south real quick over there <laughs> So I try to avoid that. Yeah. I'm going to use um, Maybelline. This is Super Stay Full Coverage Concealer. I'm sorry, not concealer, powder <laughs> in 355. So we're going to use that for the Hawa face. Just taking the powder brush. And it looks like this. Um, it's a little bit lighter than the foundation, if I'm honest. But it works. It's a, it's a tad bit lighter than the 355 foundation. But it works. And it works pretty well. Yeah. 
Now that we have that on lockdown, we are going to contour. So, like always, using the maybe I should use something else today. Should I? Maybe I should. Because I always use this. Uh, yeah. Because I always use the black radiance and I never use the other contour palettes I have. So, today I'm going to use BH Cosmetic Palette, contour palette and it looks like this so i'm going to use the second to the last one and that is a perfect gray brown shade so we're going to use that it's lighter than the black radiance one but it's grayer than that so Depending on the look that you're going for. Maybe I'll do it side by side. It was a bad idea wearing my lash before doing my face because it's like in the way. My lash is in, is in the way of me doing my contour, but it's okay. You work with it. I'm gonna take my powder brush and blend our nose right so that looks like natural you don't want harsh lines um oh yeah i was going to do it side by side this is so so you see, this is a lot darker than this, but this is grayer than this, so it works, but depending on the kind of contour you're going for, then use whatever. So that's that. Let's clean up our contour. For this part, I use the smallest amount of powder because I don't like when that place is like big. I like it when it's clean, but not baked, but... To each its own. I don't mind. You can bake if you want, but I like it clean. Not baked, because it can cast like a shadow. So... Like, I don't want that place highlighted kind of thing. I just want it clean. So, I do that. And I dust it off with powder. We're looking cute. We're looking cute. Okay. These are the Ruby Kisses blushes. Um... I know which one I'm going to use because I have both pink and orange on my eyes. I don't know if I should do a pink. I don't know if I should use pink or I should use orange blush. Kind of confused. I think I'm going to use orange because I have more of the pink on my face. yeah oh, i like you guys i love blush any color of blush brown burgundy like i love blush and blush fades quick like in the next two three minutes this blush will not be on my face again 
so I like packing it on and if you don't know blush makes you look healthy and that's like true story I've never used this highlight before it looks ashy this one it looks a little bit ashy maybe not today some other time for me uh, but yeah blush makes you look like healthy so I'm going to start with this gold one it's called French toast I'm going to use that one first and see how it goes this is BH cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray palette the first one not the second one uh, yeah and we have a contour palette in here and I never use it I always say I'm going to use it but then I forget so oh that is cute hey guys sorry I'm shouting yeah that's a cute shade that's cute yeah just from one application that's a cute golden it's golden so so my really did that she did that that is cute it's a cutie how is his cutie? <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. Nothing. You guys can't deny it. I'm using the NYX, um, NYX pencil. It's in Downtown Beauty. This is for every new look that you're going for. This will do the job. Turkish Rose, Turkish Rose from Nika K. And I'm just going to apply that in the center. This is Paradise Pink from LA Colors. Yeah, Paradise Pink from LA Colors. And I'm just going to put that on my lips. Look, I hope you guys like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to share the video, <laughs> um, don't forget to do everything YouTube requires you to do to a video. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Please share the video, please like this video. And then um, I'm back. I'm going to start pumping new videos, new makeup looks, you know. I'm back to my shenanigans. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You guys, <laughs> I just realized that I didn't do anything to my lower lashes. So, sorry, not my lower lashes. My lower um, eyes. And that's not acceptable. So I came back. <laughs> I actually came back to fix that. And that's the look! I like it. If you made it this far because i know some people would have clicked out of the video as soon as i said we were done the first time but if you made it this far you're the real deal and i love you thank you i'll see you in my next video bye